This video shows how to set up kiosk mode and how it works. Kiosk mode is designed to let you use one or more devices at your locations, where site supervisors or admins securely set up the app, where the app can accept manual check-ins or scan personal QR code badges. The app also allows individuals to check out. Kiosk mode can be set with your on-site devices by using the following steps. From a web browser, use the address app.safesitecheckin.com. The kiosk mode is secured by having a site supervisor or admin sign into the app, where they should sign in by email and supply their password. You then select the site where check-ins will be recorded. You then select the type of check-ins that you want for your location. The Allow Check-in Only option puts the kiosk into manual mode, where visitors must key in all the information as part of the check-in process. The Allow Only Check-in with QR Code option requires individuals to provide their QR code badge in order to check in. You can also set the kiosk mode to allow either manual check-ins or scans of a personal QR code. The QR Code Express Check-in option is designed to quickly let individuals check in with their QR code badge by skipping all check-in prompts. You can also set the kiosk to only accept manual check-ins and express QR code check-ins. Let's take a look at that option. The kiosk page lets the visitors select their check-in method. Let's take a look first at a manual check-in. When you go through the check-in process, you'll see that all the pages contain blank information that the visitor must fill out every time they go through a check-in. This information is not remembered, so the next visitor that comes in will not see the prior visitor's information. When the visitor completes their check-in, the app will tell them that entry is granted. The page then resets for the next visitor to check in. Now let's take a look at how personal QR code check-in works. SafeSite Check-in lets you create individual user profiles. A badge is included as part of the profile. When the QR code button is selected, the device's camera opens. The individual then holds up their QR code to the camera lens. When the device detects the QR code, it then checks the person in. Note that the express check-in does not prompt the user for any information. It simply records the check-in information from their profile. If you want to collect additional information from a badged user, then change the kiosk mode. You'll then see when the visitor checks in with a QR code badge, they'll be prompted for any information you need to collect. The visitor's contact information is filled in from the badge. The kiosk also lets visitors with badges scan the checkout. The checkout process may take a few seconds as it looks up the check-in record for the individual. You can set up your device's web browser to have the check-in page be a desktop icon that can appear locked on the device's screen. For example, with Google Chrome, you go to the browser's main options menu and then under Tools, create a shortcut. Selecting Open as a window will open the check-in app in a lockdown window on the device. You then see the check-in page as a desktop icon. Selecting the icon opens the page. Your device is now in kiosk mode, ready to have multiple visitors check in. You can also set up another page to allow visitors to manually check out. You can do this by opening a new browser page and then going to the address app.safesitecheckin.com and then selecting the check-ins page. This shows all the check-ins recorded on the device. You can also set up your device to have this page appear as a desktop icon. Where selecting the icon lets you see all check-in records and then tap to check out. This concludes our tutorial video. If you want to learn how QR code badges work, check out the personal QR codes video. If you have any questions or issues, please contact our support team.